I have never been this hyped to clean my house before, but that's because you guys are joining me. Hey blind baddies, Alicia here, back on your screen with another one. I've been seeing this type of video come up on my recommended so much recently that I thought why not for 30 days of blind make my own Legally Blind edition. So this is my clean with me as we clean my studio apartment. Yes, it is a small space, but let me tell you, if you want it clean, clean, it's gonna take some time. So in this one, I'm gonna share all the hacks I have as well as my secret tips to getting this house spotless. I'm talking eat off the floor clean because I don't know if it's the Caribbean in me or the way my parents raised me, but my level of clean is high level. Sometimes I'm at other people's houses and I'm like, I can't eat from you. So if you wanna get as clean as me and also if you're visually impaired and you wanna know how to keep your space clean when you can't even see, I got you. Make sure you hit the like button. Also let me know down below what video you wanna see next for this month of blind videos. So let's go. Let's get this mess figured out. Ugh. There's nothing worse than a dirty bathroom. Literally, this is a place where you like to get clean and recharge. You don't want it feeling like filth. This video is brought to you by Mr. Clean. I wish, he don't know I exist. This thing is sick, you click it once. Okay, of course when I try to demo it doesn't work, but you click it, you hear it's just going. Yeah. I'm gonna let this sit before my shower. You always wanna let stuff sit, especially if you feel like you have anything in the grout, mildew, gunk, hair products, for at least 10 minutes. If it's really, really bad, what you can do is take some paper towel, drench it in bleach, of course wear gloves, and put it in the cracks overnight. While that is sitting, I'm gonna clean the countertop because it is, oh God, help the world out. I always store my toothbrush underneath because it's way cleaner. But to clean oil stains, things that you might not be able to see because there's a slight sheen, I always recommend doing a wet spritz then wipe. So you take a cloth. Ooh, my hair looks crazy. Let's do this again. Hair is so thin at the bottom. I can't wait for a haircut. I always want to take a cloth and start off by wetting your surface. This is gonna loosen any hair products, skincare products that might be on. can't see streaks so I gotta wipe twice. I wet one, squeeze it out really well, and you're gonna wipe in circular motions. You don't need Windex for this, it's not that serious. You just go in circular motions. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh look at that. It is nice. Now for my least favorite part, the toilet. Gotta do it. If you want your dookies to smell fresh, I always start off with these two products. It's like the Affinity Stones. You can't find these just anywhere. You have to hunt. Might have to go through a couple Marvel Universes to get your hands on these. Just scrub a dub dub. Clean everyone's doo doo. How did my mom do this for so many years? Ooh, splash back. Uh... You flush it with the brush. Last thing I do with the inside of the bowl is I will put some powder on the brush, of course, in the bowl itself, and leave it overnight to dry. This is also going to continuously sterilize anything I might have missed because I can't see what I should be scrubbing. And while that's happening, let's clean the outside. I always do this every time someone comes to my house just because I don't know where their booty's been. The outside, the curve. A lot of us forget that a lot of dust can settle over here.
my least favorite part to clean. This is worse for me than the bathroom because there's a lot going on. I like to clean my kitchen every day right after I cook, but since I've been filming, I haven't gotten to it. So we gonna do this real quick. Always gotta use the gloves. So before we clean, we gotta categorize. This can go over here, cause I'm drinking that. not clean I'm not eating from you they say that the kitchen sink has actually got more bacteria than the toilet that's crazy back a lot of people forget about behind the sink move this aside About cleaning while impaired is you can't see what you're cleaning properly so you got to clean twice that's why I got not one but two rags one wet one modestly dry it's a little wet and you're gonna use one to just get all the dirt lifted off the surface first I can feel crumbs from breakfast wipe that of course you move these around I did this earlier today so I'm just doing it again to show ya Ooh, did you hear me crack old ladies where you at Okay, do that. Make sure you wipe the wall too. Sometimes food gets all the way there. If you haven't cooked, that's probably enough. If you have cooked, you're not gonna see the splatter. So go in with rag two. Killer motions is gonna get it dry and lift any stubborn dirt. This is how I keep it spotless in another place. Now that that's done, oh my gosh, we're not even not doing that today. Some days I go in and I clean under here because food just seems to fall. We're not doing that today. Here with the cloth. When you're done, of course, make sure you wash both cloths. Otherwise, you're just going to be spreading bacteria around. Put these in the washing machine. And when they get super holy, I say... Kobe! Gotta sage the house to clean it spiritually. And of course, sage yourself. Have you ever seen the meme about the woman saging her house and then her ex is like, you need to sage yourself. 